Hi friends, my name is Srikanth Varma Chekuri. I'm a co-founder of Applied Gate Course and AppliedAICourse.com. And as some of you may already know about us, uh, we are hosted on gate.appliedcourse.com. And for Gate CSC 2019, we conducted five mock tests, which have been a big hit. About 5,177 students have taken at least one of our five mock tests. It's been a great success. We have heard great feedback from our from our students because these mock tests are of very high quality. We conducted extremely high quality mock tests with original questions and students really love taking them. And we also got a lot of feedback from students during this time. One of the feedbacks was, why don't you start a gate course for CSC? So based on their feedback and lot of research that we conducted, we are extremely happy to announce gate computer science blended course for the 2020 gate right so this course is called the gate cs blended 2020 this is only for the computer science students for this year and the team at applied before i go into the course i'll explain you what this course is all about how did we organize this course all of that i'll explain you in the later parts of this video but before we go there the team at applied gate course has mentored thousands of students both for gate and for ai we run a very 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 interesting and very very popular machine learning and ai course at appliedaicourse.com it is based on these learnings that that we have had by teaching thousands of students both for gate and for ai that we are building on top of that exposure and experience to design a new course for gate computer science okay so before we go into the into how the gate blended course works Let's understand the pros and cons of an offline class and an online class. So the word blended here, the word blended here basically means it's a blend of trying to get the best of both worlds. We want to take all the pros of offline classes and online classes and try to bring it onto a single platform, right? So in, a, in an offline class, typically you have a very nice schedule because, it, because you go to a classroom session where an instructor comes in and teaches you for a couple of hours, right? You also have batches there so that you have groups of people that you constantly interact with. And typically you learn, you sit in a classroom for about two hours a day, right? So the typical, so there is a very nice, clean path that it takes you through, right? And hence, when you start an offline class, you tend to attend because it becomes part of your habit. So for every day, two hours, you would go to these classes, learn a few things, you have a batch of friends or, or, or people who are learning along with you that you work with. And there is a predefined, very nice schedule that you follow through. That's why in offline classes, the course completion is very high. A lot of students end up going through all of the classes and end up actually finishing and learning all the subjects in the first place. That's, that's a huge advantage of an offline class. It keeps the students motivated and it keeps the students constantly working on, on learning new concepts. While this is a huge advantage of offline class, there are some limitations also. For example, the instructor time is limited. The instructor typically comes in, spends about two hours with you, and then he or she has a very limited time to clarify your doubts. Or any queries, any questions you have, the instructor may be able to clear only two or three of your doubts. So in offline sessions, most of the doubts are either clarified among students without a mentor or an instructor supporting them. Because to be honest, the instructor doesn't have time because in other class that he has to go and teach, right? The biggest problem in an offline session is students learn at different rates. Not everybody is equally smart, right? And some students might want to learn at a very faster rate. Some students may want to take it slowly. So the biggest, biggest disadvantage of an offline class is student learn at different rates and hence not everybody comes out of the two hour classroom absorbing the same amount of information and knowledge right but there are pros and cons with everything in life right similarly if you take an online class there are some advantages and disadvantages of how online classes also a typical on online class right you learn at your own pace which means it caters to this need right you can learn at your own pace at your own ease but there is lack of motivation because if you look at gate syllabus, there is there is ton of syllabus that you need to cover for the examination and you typically lose motivation while you're learning. Right. And since since you don't have a fixed schedule that everybody follows through. Right. And since you don't have batches like system, you tend to not have other people that you can work with. 
right? And hence, while you're learning at your own pace, it's very, very easy to lose motivation, to lose track of things. And hence, there is a very low course completion rate, which means very few people who join a gate online course end up completing all of the videos and all of the concepts, right? The third one is both a pro and con. So doubt clarification and mentorship, there are some online courses that do it, but many of them don't do it, right? So there is no promise that any question you ask gets clarified thoroughly. It's not just about providing some answer. It's about clarifying the question thoroughly, right? While very few people do it, most of them don't. To the quality of the student satisfaction, that's very, very important, right? So we, we thought, why don't we do the best of both? So we researched a lot on offline classes and online classes, and the whole team at Applied Gate course has taken Gate ourselves, right, in the last 10 years. Like, for example, I have taken my Gate in the year 2006 and 2007. I've taken it twice. And in the year 2007, because of some hard work and luck, I got All India Rank 2 in Computer Science, right? In 2006, I got All India Rank 178, right? So we have been through your shoes. We have been through the stages that you are in. All the, almost all the team at Applied, Applied Gate course has been through that stage. So we learned what is the situation, what worked for us. We talked to lots of toppers, lots of single and double digit rankers of Gate in the last 10 years. And based on their feedback, we are designing the blended course. But before we go there, there is one more thing that we need to understand. What does it take to crack Gate? Of course, you have to learn all the basic concepts. No excuse in that. But typically, you have 10 to 12 subjects that you have to learn. And it's very, very easy to forget something that you learned three months back because you're constantly learning new things. So it's extremely important that you revise regularly. You revise these concepts regularly. And the best way to revise is to practice. The most important thing because of which most people don't get a gate rank even though they've learned the concepts. This is, this is, this is something that I've seen in hundreds of students. They learn all the concepts. They sit through all the classes. If it's, a, if it's an offline class, they sit through all the classes. If it's an online class, they go through all the videos, but still they don't get a good rank. That's because they don't practice. The most important thing with GATE is practice, practice, practice. Because in the exam, in the examination, you're not, not, you're not asked some theory concepts. You're given a problem and you're expected to solve. The biggest reason why people don't crack GATE, even though they've completed all of the theory concepts, is because they don't practice. This is, I'll, I'll tell you a good example. When I was writing GATE in 2007, in my final year of undergraduate studies, in my final year BTEC, all that I did for one year was practicing. I simply practiced for one year because I went through most of the content earlier. I simply practiced, which got me AAR2. It's practice, which is far more important, actually. If I have to give some, if I have to give some rates, ratios, right? Of course, learning, without learning concepts, you can't solve problems. But if you just learn concepts and not practice, you will not get a gate rank. Trust me on that. I mean, I'm 100% I'm, I'm sure of it. If you don't practice, you don't get it, right? So taking all these, all these learnings, the pros and cons of offline, online classes, and what it takes to crack gate, we are designing the gate computer science blended 2020 course. And it's called blended because we want to get the best of both worlds. We want to get the best of offline classes and the best of online classes and innovate for our students so that our students are more successful at GET, right? So this is how we have designed it. First thing, we will have batches for the Applied CS blended course. Each batch starts roughly for every 20 days. We'll announce the launch of new batches on our website. So please check out our website when the next batch is starting. The first batch starts on February 15th, 2019. This is when our first batch starts, right? And the way, the way we'll operate is this. This is how the course is, is structured. Monday to Friday for the five days, every day you would get two hours of content per day. Every day you would get two hours of content. This is very similar to your offline sessions. This is very similar to your offline classes. You would get two hours of content. So everybody who is in the same batch is going at the same speed. They're learning the same concept, which means they can discuss amongst themselves. That's very, very important because all the students in a batch are following the same subject. Parallelly, they can have much more fruitful discussions amongst themselves. I'll tell you how they can have discussions in a little while, 
right? So because each batch is going parallel, that's a big advantage of offline classes. Because there are batches, because there is a fixed schedule, students tend to collaborate more and there is roughly two hours a day of content, which is easy to grasp in two hours, right? So we took that, we took, we took this concept from offline classes, right? Because it works. We have to see what works and innovate and put it in our course, right? So because we have batches and all the students in a batch are following the same content on daily basis, they can discuss among themselves. And because this content every two hour, two, every day since two hours of content is sent to you, you learn at your own pace. You can finish this two hours of content during your commute to the college, when you're, when you're commuting to your college, right? Or when you have some free time, you can watch this content on your mobile phone, on your desktop, on your desktop, anywhere you want, right? So, and if, if you are a slow learner, you might take three hours to learn this concept. If you're a fast learner, you could speed it up and learn the whole thing in one hour, right? But all the students are going at the same rate in the sense that all of them are on the same concept, but depending on your grasping power, depending on your fundamental knowledge, you could finish things faster. Very, very importantly, amidst this content, you will have lots and lots of practice questions. Because as I told you earlier, it is practice, practice, practice that will help you crack gate. You, you could spend hundreds of hours learning concepts, but if you don't practice, you will not get a gate rank. I can't emphasize this enough. So for each of these practice sessions, we will not give you answers. I'm, I'm very clear here. We will not give you answers there and then, right? We will not give you answers. That's because when I give you an answer, this, this is a very important thing. When I give you an answer, you'll just see the answer and not learn how to solve. Reading through answers will not get you a gate rank, right? If you search for these questions on the internet and if you, if you happen to find answers for these questions, you're only cheating yourself, right? We want each of our students to struggle with these questions because problem solving is a skill that you have to spend time and learn. These practice questions are designed to help you build on the problem solving skills, which is the most important thing because in the examination for gate, you have to solve problems and that skill can only be built by struggling with questions, not by seeing answers. If you see the answer, you will never be able to solve. I'll tell you an example from my own experience. When I was preparing for 2007 gate, I literally solved the last 20 years of gate questions and I never saw the answer. I would only mark whether my answer is correct or incorrect. I struggled with, I struggled to solve the last 20 years question papers. I never saw the answer anywhere. I just had the question papers. I would solve, I would have an answer sheet. I would just say whether my question, my answer is incorrect or correct. If it is incorrect, I'll go back, struggle with that question for a few days to solve it. Right? If you see the answer, you will not learn it. Trust me. But of course, we will give you the answers eventually. I'll tell you where we'll give the answers but we want you to struggle with these questions and build problem solving skills. That is the most important thing, right? So Saturday and Sunday, five days are done. Two days will give you a revision plan. So whatever you have learned in the week, if you don't revise thoroughly, you will forget, right? All the questions that you have had incorrect answers for, please go back and practice them. And also you need time to rest. You're going to college or you're working full time you need, you certainly need rest. Okay. So Sunday and Saturday, revise all the concepts that you learned through the week so that you don't forget it because gate content is so humongous. Frankly speaking, there are 10 to 12 subjects. If you don't revise regularly, you will forget those subjects. You will forget those concepts. Best way of revision is to revise the content, revise your notes. Most importantly, practice more, right? So what about your practice questions? So th the other thing that we want to do is, We'll have live sessions. We'll have instructor driven live sessions every Wednesday and Saturday in the evening from 7 p.m. to 8.30 p.m. These are live sessions that we'll conduct on our live platform, which you can join from the, from the comfort of your home. In these live sessions, we'll discuss the solutions to these practice problems, right? We'll discuss the solutions to these practice problems. Whatever practice questions that you've had in the last few days, we'll discuss them here. Right? Because you would have spent at least one or two days struggling with these questions. Right? So once, so of course, at the end of the day, if you cannot solve it ever, somebody has to come in and help you. Right? So we will solve all of the practice questions that you have during these live sessions. In addition to that, so while we will not give you the answers right there and then, and we strongly recommend you don't Google search for them because you're fooling yourself. 
okay we will discuss detailed solutions to these practice questions and also we'll also help you understand where students make mistakes so that you don't make those mistakes again in the live sessions we'll also go through concepts okay any concept that many students are confused with we will go through them in your live session so live session is a great platform for you to interact with the instructors at the gate uh, at applied gate course this is a great platform where you can discuss and interact with people right having said that there is one more thing any question so the way we organize our content is you have a video here okay you can play pause speed it up all of that stuff under the video there are a bunch of comments right so any question you have about this video you can place it in the comment section any comment that you place here is also is also visible to other students so when you go and watch a video if other students have left some comments especially the most important comments here that we will mark as important that you can also vote right these comments will help you understand the concept better because it is not just the content that the instructor taught in the taught in the video but also the comment section is extremely useful i'll tell you for applied ai course we have over 27000 comments under our videos that we have answered in the last 15 months and those are a treasure trove of knowledge right so based on this experience we are doing the same thing for our applied gate course also and any question that you ask here will be resolved in under 48 hours this i will try to do it so for applied ai course more than 99% of questions are answered on time right even here we will try and answer all of the questions that you have here in under 48 hours right so here we are giving that guarantee because in an offline session you have limited instructor time and all doubts do not get clarified we want to rectify this and one way we are rectifying this is through the comment section so under the video you can leave a comment you would get an answer from from one of us a verified answer in 48 hours it's extremely useful and when you're learning new content you have other questions that students aren't asked so your learning is not limited to the video your learning also extends into the comment section right it's extremely useful we have seen this work magically at applied ai course right the next thing that we'll have is we'll have a forum for all of our students to enable student student discussion right because we have batches these students who are learning the same concepts who are who are who are who are, who are traveling on this journey together right they can interact with each other on a forum so we'll have a forum for student student discussions on strategies on how they're learning how they're making notes how they're motivated these student student forums are magical trust me because they help students keep motivated we have a forum for applied ai course which works magically right having said so this is how we are structuring our course so as to get the best of both worlds best of an offline class and an online class right while minimizing the the while minimizing the cons of them right very very importantly why is this course called applied gate course why is this wh why do we call it applied gate cs course the naming right this part is simple blended because we are doing the best of offline online why is it called the applied course that's because because of the core philosophy that we have learned at applied ai course which is we not only teach concepts we not only teach you what is a concept for example we don't teach you just what is merge sort what is the time complexity what is the space complexity of merge sort in algorithms we teach you lots of other things we teach you real world implications the applied aspects of knowledge we teach you why do we need merge sort where is merge sort actually used in the real world right we have quick sort we have heap sort we have tons of other sort why should i even learn merge sort in the first place where is it used how is it used these are concepts which are extremely important i have seen gate single digit rankers and double digit rankers i have seen gate single digit and double digit rankers who have cracked gate who know what is what but they can't explain me why is merge sort even invented in the first place why do i need merge sort when i have quick sort or when i have uh, heap sort all of these things they can't answer the simple question so we not only want you to succeed in gate we want you to be a good engineer that's very very important we want you to be a good engineer at the end of the day in the long run in the long run you not only have to know what is merge sort or what is a concept you have to know why you are learning it where it's supposed to be used how to how it is used in the real world 
right? So that's why all of our courses are extremely applied in nature because we think gate is not an end in the journey. Gate is just the beginning where you go to a master's program, right? In the long run, you have to be a good and preferably a great engineer. And that requires you to have answers to these things, right? So our learning is not limited just to gate, but we want our gate course to teach you life's great lessons on how to be a good and preferably a great engineer. So if you want to understand how we teach, please check out our sample content. Just go to gate.appliedcourse.com and you'll be able to check out our sample content for some of sample videos where you can get a sense of how we teach this. You'll get a very good idea on how we cover, why, where, how. So our content strategy is also because I've seen from my own experience, I've seen lots of students who crack gate who cannot answer some very basic engineering questions. Okay, because these these questions are important. So I, I, I strongly recommend that you check out our sample content to understand how we teach any questions you have about our blended about our blended course about gate CS blended 2020. Any questions you have fee, feel free to email us at gatecsc at appliedcourse.com or give us a phone call at 844-844-0102. We'll try to answer all of your emails and phone calls as soon as we can. Having said that, if you want to check out our website, we are always available at gate.appliedcourse.com. All the best. And we are constantly looking for, this is very, very important. We are constantly looking for feedback from students. We are constantly looking for feedback from our students on how we can innovate in the education space, how we can make this course better. So whatever I have told you, this could change based on student feedback. Having said that, there is one more very, very important thing. How much does this cost? <laughs> right? How much does this cost? That, that's, that's an important question that a lot of students ask us. So when we're designing about the pricing of this, we wanted the cost to be we want this course to be accessible to all. We want anybody to be able to access this course. We want anybody, anyone, even from a lower middle class India should be able to access this course. And hence, we are charging just 17,000 rupees per year. So if, you, if you're registering for Gate CS 2020, so this is not a per year, this is for Gate CS 2020. Right. This is not a per year charge. If you're if you're registering for the 2020 exam, the charge is 17,000 rupees inclusive of all taxes, including GST, everything. We felt that at this price point, at this price point, it is extremely accessible to all of our students and a wide, wide spectrum of audience. And for what we are providing, for what we are providing, we feel that it's a great price point. Right. So any questions you have, just email us, give us a phone call. There is one more very important question that students ask is, if I cannot attend the live session at this period, can I still access the live session? Yes, because you might be at college, you might be taking an exam, or you might be at an offline class for GATE, right, at this period. So students ask us, would I miss the live sessions? It's okay. Worst case, even if you miss the live session, you can always watch the live sessions after the live session is over. But we strongly encourage you to join the live sessions because they help you interact with the instructors, right? So overall, the way we have structured the course, the CS, the Gate CS Blended course is to make the best of offline and online while making it extremely applied in nature so that you learn what good engineering is and while, make it, while making it extremely accessible at a very, very reasonable price point. Any feedback you have, please let us know at gatecsc at appliedcourse.com and give us a phone call here. We are waiting for your feedback. Any way we can innovate here, any feedback, both good and bad, critical and constructive, we want to hear from you so that we constantly innovate for our students.